Apparently, Louisiana is becoming a popular place to tour agriculture. Farmers from Australia recently visited the United States to learn about cotton production in Louisiana, Texas, and Mississippi. Specifically, they're here to learn from the issues that farmers have faced with the herbicide dicamba. Twyla's Carl Wiggers met up with the group in Tinsall Parish to hear what they're learning on this trip. The group of nearly 20 Australians met in Tinsall Parish at the LSU Ag Center Northeast Research Station. They're here to discuss Louisiana cotton with local crop consultants and extension researchers. Our Australian Cotton Research and Development Corporation and Monsanto have sponsored a uh, tour for cotton producers, um, extension officers and agronomists to come and look at uh, how the production system is going in the U.S. and uh, what we can learn from there. We've got the looming release of Extendflex cotton in, in Australia. We're here to ensure that we have all the information around the release of those products to ensure the, the longevity and avoid resistance. Um, we've heard of uh, the issues you've had with uh, the dicamba and so we're over here looking at that. We haven't received that technology yet in Australia but it'll probably become commercial in about three to four years time. We've known about resistance and how we get resistance, how we manage resistance for a while but the technology makes farming easier and those memories they only become very pointed when or, or the concept becomes very pointed when you have resistance on your farm and then all of a sudden you get very interested in the stewardship and so we're trying to stay ahead of that game because what I do um, often if I'm doing my job the farmer never sees that I've done it because they don't get resistance. We're hoping to, to benefit from the mistakes they've made and, and not repeat them. Whenever you travel and particularly coming to great place, place like America is you know we always pick up things you never know what it's going to be but we take home things every time so it's been a great trip to date and uh, we thank all the Americans for their hospitality it's been wonderful. The group left Louisiana that afternoon and actually made a quick stop in Arkansas before ending their day in northern Mississippi. Like they said in the story they likely will not have dicamba or extend technology in Australia for a few more years. This trip was for them to learn how they can better prepare for this on the farms down under and you guys they definitely came to a great place to learn about the technology that we have here. We've had a lot of problems with it here lately. It's been in the news, been a hot topic for farmers all across the country here lately. I've seen a lot of stuff online on, on Facebook, on that so Southern Farming page, the Dicamba Gate, as they've called it. They've been talking about it. But you told me today that someone's even been killed over this. It, it really was. In, in Arkansas, the Arkansas-Missouri border, there was a farmer who sprayed it and there was a dispute over, you know, you killed my beans, kind of thing and it got heated and the guy ended up losing his life. And it was a really, it's a really terrible thing, but it's that big a deal. We're talking about thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of acres have been affected by this this year. So what the guys in Australia are trying to do is trying to prevent those kind of issues whenever they bring that technology to their country. It's a crazy story, but Carl Wiggers, great story on your part. Thank you. Well, still to come on Twyla, it's the cooking oil you'd be nuts not to use. But first, a week of safety and health out on the farm. Stay with us.